So guys, uh, it's time to move on with our uh, GTK80 table and see which functions we can use. Uh, let's see. Uh, once that, uh, uh, let, let, uh, better said, uh, let's see. These three uh, functions we already talked in the last tutorial. I mean, in the first one, so there was the GTK80 table select region. This was the function which uh, created some problems to us because, like you already saw, we had to call it after we create our window. Uh, this means uh, before, after we show our window. This means after we basically showed our window. So this means we use it here, or we were creating a, a callback function to, and we we connect it to uh, the, s the click uh, signal of the button and then uh, after we were clicking the button we saw that uh, this function was working the other two we are not talking about now because you already know but uh, let's see now uh, this is very important this um, this function delete section uh, let me see here uh, this is the my my uh, very first uh, tutorial about uh, edit table. Uh, I, I um, encourage you to watch it again if you uh, don't uh, you don't understand what I'm talking about now, or if you didn't saw it already. So uh, this is the cricket callback which uh, I was creating. So here uh, basically I got the text entry, and then uh, I called uh, use the GTK edit table. Uh, select the region to select the region so basically I was selecting the region from 4 to 7 by doing this um, and have it selected just after editable select if you call this function gtk editable selection it will delete these characters for 4 to 7 from 4 starting with 4 to 7 so basically I I won't go into. I'm not going to create again a, uh, a button and those things. Just go back to my uh, f uh, very first tutorial about the get table. And uh, if you saw save it somewhere, then just call after GTK at table select region um, the GTK at table delete selection. So anyway, we'll only see what is the store. What's the story with this function? So. Uh, GTK uh, edit table delete section deletes the currently selected text of the edit table. This means this call doesn't do anything if there is no selected text. So as you can see, it has to be selected. So you do that uh, by calling uh, GTK edit table select region, uh, for example. And then uh, after just after you call this function and the uh, part which you selected will be deleted. You see, it takes only one part in your edit table. So your entry. It's not uh, so complicated. Okay, let's move on. Uh, let's see the next function. GTK edit table set edit, ta edit table. Uh, let's see. GTK edit table set position. No, this is not. This here is. Determinates if the user uh, can edit the text in the edit table widget or not. What this means? Let's move to our program. Let's call again the GTK entry set text to create a text gtk entry so uh, I don't think that I need to cast it but no, of course I need uh, and then uh, let's say again hello world like we already done okay so basically we j we set the text I run it just to see that it works and says El hello works and it works fine okay now uh, the the function gtk edit table set edit table as you can see here uh, takes two parameters the first one is our edit table and the second one it's a boolean it's true or false so it's, it should be or should not let's see what this means uh, so let's call this function just after here and then uh, says uh, the first one is edit table so gtk edit table oh gtk edit table we need to uh, cast it so we need our entry now and the second one is true or false so uh, basically basically if, if, if we are passing out true nothing happens I mean uh, we can edit you can do everything you want to but if you pass false let's see now as you can see you cannot 
you cannot uh, delete a text, you cannot uh, do nothing with this text. So this is very important. I want to show you something else. Uh, let me set it back to true. Uh, what this exactly means? Watch. Uh, watch the uh, right click. I will use. See, I have cut. I have copy, paste, delete. So it works everything uh, as it should be. Now watch. If you set it to false, like I do here, you know you cannot edit. But watch. You you can still use the copy you see the copy is working the copy part it's not uh, and the select all of course those two are, are working fine but cut paste and delete are not working of course because uh, we set it to false so we are, I, i'm going to put it back to true now okay so now let's move on to the next um, next um, function which is gtk get edit table uh, of course this uh, function uh, says its name everything says um, retrieves uh, whatever the editable is editable uh, so this means needs editable we're, we're going to use a if here uh, if gtk if gtk editable again uh, editable yes uh, gtk editable entry so if it's true like here then now then now we can move to the next function uh, the next function is uh, let's say uh, gtk insert text okay let's put here true or something g g print true so because it has to be true let me format i will run the program and prints true of course it prints true because uh, uh, it should be okay now let's see let's move to the next function well, like I said gtk table insert text uh, where is it 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 here gtk table insert text says it's a function which takes uh, four parameters the new text i think you already noticed uh, when we are working with signals now you, you see what's the part with the insert text here uh, the new text the new text line and the position this function returns nothing it does void and says in test new text length bytes in the sets new text length bytes of new text into the contents of the widget at the po at the position position so at this position which you said note that the position is in character not in bytes so the function at this position to point after the newly inserted text what this means uh, in other way so uh, let's say if you want to pass it in this text and you choose one uh, this means here it will be the character okay uh, so the four position uh, the four parameters are the edit table the new text the text to append which you inserted uh, the length of it, this text uh, or minus one if it's uh, multi emitted and uh, its position how does this work let's see let's call this function uh, the first one said it is uh, editable now the second one the second one said it is a new text so um, being a new text let's create let's create an array let's say ghr um, array okay and then um, let's say uh, what let's say space new text for example okay so we created uh, an array okay now we pass it here and the next one was uh, its length okay so uh, this means um, let's put it in um, gint length and calling size of to get the size of the array okay so now we have the length And the last one is the position. Okay, so let's create one. Gint position. Why do we have to create? I mean, uh, let's say 
let's say five. Uh, so now, uh, why can I not just put here a random number like five? So for example, let's see. Let's see what happens if I put five there. I mean, I think you already noticed, but what happens if I put just five there? Let's compile it and run it. And says passing the element four, which gets the next point and uh, makes pointer from in danger without a cast. So uh, this means, as you can see here, takes a pointer and not an integer. So this means we need to pass uh, not an integer. So we need to pass its address. So this means we, we need the address operator and the position. And that being said, I will compile around the problem now. As as you can see says hello new text and word you see so basically this is the way how you call and use this function okay let's move on um, I will um, I will uh, I will let I will let this part for now okay so let's see let's move on uh, we work with this function mm, I didn't want to delete it sorry I want to move on. The next one is GTK edit table set position and get position. What this means, let's see. Let's go back to our reference manual. I think it was down here. Uh, set position says sets the cursor position in the edit table to the given value. So this means uh, it takes this edit table and then you can put um, you can put your cursor cursor in one uh, particular. Uh, position the cursor is displayed before the character yes okay so just remember with a given base zero so this means if you put one it will be before one what this means i will show you in a moment the value must be less than or equal to the number of characters in the value of minus one indicate that the position should be set after the last character we already know that that everything in the table or in entry uh, base set of uh, minus one uh, means that you can apply it to at the end at the end of the text or the entry text. Okay, so uh, takes two parameter. The first one is at the, at the table, and the second one is our uh, position, the position of the car cursor, and returns a void. Okay, now let's see. Let's call this function and see what happens. Let's say um, GTK at the table. We need it, and let's put the cursor. At the position five, let's take this position. Okay, just see what happens. So we we are calling this GTK table set position. We are calling this position to be uh, we said to be at position four. So this means of course I should be at position four. Let's see what happens. I run the program, and bam, it's not in there. Well, why is that? It's very simple. You see, now I have my cursor here, but if I do this, which is that the text is selected, this means the cursor is not there. So basically, uh, if a text which is already there, you cannot uh, insert the cursor because uh, it will be selected, and this happens because of the of the um, GTK entry set text which sets the text for you. So uh, uh, this means even if you if you change the things like you type something you see your cursors will be still not be there where uh, maybe you think it is so how can i prove that how can we pr prove that um, this function works i mean how how and what uh, can we do about it so uh, for example is it very imp uh, important let's set this to false so we are said that edit table uh, has to be uh, to uh, uh, to uh, set to false so that we cannot edit it so by doing this, and because we cannot set it, you see, our cursor is right here, at the position. Of course, it has position 5, because it takes this one as, uh, 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 it takes uh, this one before, and then moves to that position. So to fix that, uh, we can mo uh, basically move it here, and set position 5. And once that we have this position, you see, it's right here. It's, it's exactly here where we want to have it. So this is uh, this is um, about uh, the GTK uh, set position. And of course we have the last one, which is the get position, which returns a gint. 
uh, which says retire the grand position. So if you really want to know where your cursor is, which uh, you don't know where is it, you just use it. I will just call uh, printf here, uh, the gprint here to find out information about our entry to see where the cursor is and then because I don't want to let let me format the style so I just want to print it to see where our cursor is and our cursor is at a position 5 you see here 5 okay so that being said uh, I think uh, we were discussing everything about uh, we need to about this function so we we talk about the um, set position about get position about set edit table about get edit table and uh, so on so basically we talk almost everything you need to know about these functions and everything you need to know about how you work with this function if something uh, appears or if you, if you think that you need something like I, I don't we are not going to talk about gtk detail pass clipboard and cut clipboard and uh, and, and uh, cut clipboard uh, cut pass copy because these functions basically uh, we already um, did a better work by uh, working with these uh, callbacks functions you, you saw how I was uh, working in the in the entry tutorials you, s you already saw the way how you catch control x control v and control uh, control x control c and control v so this means uh, how you uh, delete cut uh, delete cut copy and paste um, in, inside an entry okay so that being said um, thank you guys for watching and if you like it please subscribe and share with your friends and until next time see you guys